and welcome to Techno Squad, where we keep you up to date and in the know about all things tech. Now you know how we're always saying that tech is always changing, right? Well, today's show is all about using technology to create change and make a difference in our world. Now, I know you all might have noticed something different on the show today. Heck is missing! Well, don't worry, he'll be back soon with some changes and upgrades. He actually convinced the producers to get him a new exoskeleton. Pretty cool, right? I can't wait to meet the new and approved hack. <laughs> right now, though, let's take a look at today's lineup. First up, we head to Soapbun to meet a Sunbox ambassador. Then we test you with a mind bending brain teaser. We meet junior engineer Nauseam Bovani and we get creative in the tech lab. Now, there are some places in South Africa where there aren't regular big screen cinemas and there are also places without access to electricity. That's what makes this next project called Sunshine Cinema so amazing. Its mobile setup allows them to reach audiences all over. Let's take a look. <laughs> People have been telling stories since the beginning of time and technology has been helping to find ways to do it better or reach more people. Sunshine Cinema has their own unique story to add that uses technology to reach people and tries to change the world. My name is Tawan Tapo, I'm from Sudban, I'm 29 years of age. It's been two years now since I've, become, uh, since I've been a Sunbox Ambassador. And since the time they advertised the, the, this position, this program, um, I was so interested in the specific thing, the camera inside the box. So, but now learning of what Sandbox and Bazada is, mobilizing our communities, sparking the conversation with our social ills. <laughs> Most of the people in my community know me because of I've been an artist, musician for, for, for quite a little bit of time pursuing that short-term career. So now being a Sandbox Ambassador, it's, it's a platform I, I, I can create for, 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 for my community so that they can express their feeling. All right, kids, let me show you what we have inside the box. All right, firstly, this is my solar panel. I use it to charge up my battery. We also have a projector to display our films and thermometer precautionary measures. Guess what? Camera to take that moments, that pictures. All right, this is our blackout. We're keeping the lights out in order that we can display nicely then. All right, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so this is what we use the blackouts for, keep out the lights. The Sunbox is a mobile solar-powered cinema in a box, loaded with African films that are meant to spark conversation and create awareness. Pretty cool, right? Okay, we're almost there. As you can see, we're just setting it up now nicely. We're almost done. We just need to connect our projector and we will be set to go. All right, guys, as you can see, all set up, ready to go. All. With the tools that we're given, with, with the projector and the films that were provided by our directors or the filmmakers, we go to school and screen uh, the, these African films so that uh, the children in the school can maybe have a say in being active citizens. We, basically, we, we, we're promoting the youth to be active. So now, we will go to schools, we will go to church. We, with the film catalogs, we have every film that specifically deals with the social ills. Yeah, I feel like, I, I feel good. I'm in the place to be. With the solar power, it works, it works very well because now we will struggle with, with, with power since we, there will be load shading and stuff. With the solar panel, I, I, there's no uh, excuse why shouldn't I screen because now we have a solar panel which works with, 
because of the sun. We get the, the energy from the sun and it's, it's, it's natural, so there's no struggle. Sunshine Cinema is taking films into spaces that have no electricity, where there is limited access into rural areas and reach audiences that otherwise just wouldn't have access to films. Wow, the power of technology. Can anyone be Sunbox and Bazada? I will say yes and no with that because of different characters. At the, book, at the boot camp, we had different characters and someone who is introvert, you wouldn't really think would be someone to facilitate a class full of, of people or screening. So now it has taught me that you can do anything, anytime, don't be afraid of anything. So I think anyone can be a sandbox ambassador. Tabang is an amazing sandbox ambassador and I can see why he loves what he's doing. Oh, and don't get me started on the kit. It just goes to show how simple yet effective the technology is, but what an impact it can have and it's solar powered. Now that's something our next guest should know a thing or two about. Nozio Mbovani is a junior engineer. She is a rare gem, a female engineer in the renewable energy sector. Welcome Nozi. Hi. Nozi, our kids have some questions prepared for you. Um, Rois, you can go up first. So, uh, Nozi, can you tell us a bit more about yourself and what you do? Um, so, I am an electrical engineer. I am currently working for uh, an independent power producer. And what we do is we own and manage eight renewable power plants across South Africa. Amin, do you want to go next? Yeah, I just, I was wondering if you could explain to me what is renewable energy? Okay, so renewable energy is um, energy that comes from renewable sources. So that is re, uh, sources that are sustainable, which means that when, you, when you've when you used them, you can't deplete them. So they can always be re replaced. So um, it's sources such as solar power and wind power. So solar power is energy from the sun and wind power is um, energy from the wind. Nozi, thank you so much for your brilliant answers. The conversation here is getting really interesting. And to all of you at home, remember that you can be part of it too. Send us your comments, questions and suggestions on WhatsApp and Instagram. We'll be catching up with Nozi and the squad later. Today's brain teaser is actually a bit more of an optical illusion, so you'll need to keep your eyes peeled if you want to solve it. Take a look and see if you can figure out what is wrong with these two pictures. And here's a hint, it's not that the picture is upside down. Take a very close look at these two photographs, what is the mistake they have in common? If you think you have the right answer, then send it to our WhatsApp line or you can enter on our socials. Remember, only the first correct answer will be accepted as the winner. And you can win an awesome data bundle. So get in, Ching! Welcome back to it. You're still hanging out with me, Shanice. We're still trying to change the world using tech, of course. Last week, we showed you how you could start a business online, but people also use technology to raise funds, to study online, to share important news and alerts like during the COVID-19 pandemic, and to make an impact in their communities. But right now, let's head back to the learners in Soap Fun. <laughs> It's two o'clock and the day screening is about to start. We are at Cajisano and it's filling up for the Sunshine Cinema event. Monday, 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 Monday,
gore o nthwe e boneng yela o ithutileng yonela we shegela le gona ela dikinyana ela nje ka o fela gata be re sheleletse mo ba nje banyana ba ko Zimbabwe ba ba ga my name is Tembi and my surname is Lars and i'm in grade 8 and i'm 16 years today i watched the story about three girls from Zimbabwe and and the circumstances that they go through and about how they grow and the other one who who lived with the grandmother and the grandmother died and the other one was pregnant. Hi, my name is Kilebukhile, my surname is Maruping, everyone call me Kele. Um, I'm in grade 8, I'm um, 15 years old. Uh, the story was, I was watching is about uh, three girls from Zimbabwe who are supporting each other. Um, if I remember lately, there was a girl who was pregnant. They were telling us about how her mother treated her. What are you doing? What? You talk about the future and you throw something in like it's going out of fashion. It brings out the flavors. No! How long are you going to keep doing this, Dada? As long as I have to. But you don't have to. <laughs> And we were teenagers, and so the teenagers say, "We need to be talented." And then, how for a pregnant? How about that? We are going to be lame. That girl, she's lucky because of she didn't get STI, HIV, and AIDS. But her mother, she thought that her mother will accept her situation. Your advice to your friend who is pregnant, no? It won't be nice, do it. Uh, all I want to advise her is that she must not leave school. She must finish school so that she can get that child. This story taught me to speak freely and not to be shy, so they taught me a lot of things. I learned that I must always be there for my friends, support them. I must never give up in life. I'm always, I'm, I will always fight for my dreams. About the screening, the most thing I enjoyed about these girls are being supporting each other and they are not leaving each other's side. And I love that other girl, Shine. She's the most supportive friend I wish I could have. While Sunshine Cinema brings films to the community, it is not only to entertain, it is also a way to start conversation and to uplift the community. The kids, you, you could have just had, had them like, they were well educated, they received the, the film very well. They answered the questions. Basically, it was never about the questions. It was, we were having a dialogue. The story was fun, the was called, um, the story we learned in the story is about Makila Rona, the teenagers. Every girl has the right to stop a boyfriend or a friend what they are doing. And they have right, because in South Africa, our country is free talking. So we have freedom to talk. I will definitely like to see one or two from my community being a sandbox ambassador because they have a potential, they can speak in front of the camera, they can speak their challenges, they can even ask if they need help from the source itself. I'm quite aware they will talk about the feeling out at their, at their communities and tomorrow they will come up to say, Sir, Mr. Josh, Here's the solution that we think is best for our community and best for our school teenagers. Guys, there are two things that really stood out to me about the Sunshine Cinema Project. I love how they're bringing African films with real meaning to communities. And secondly, the entire experience is really having an impact on the learners. Oh, and did I mention there's tech involved? <laughs> I think it's time for us to catch up with Nausey and the squad. Welcome back, Nausey. Kristen, your hands up. What types are they? Okay, so there's solar power, and solar power is energy from the sun. There's actually two, two different types of solar power. So you have uh, photovoltaics, which is the most commonly um, known. Um, so it's PV. So with um, PV, there is solar cells that are ele electronic devices that convert 
uh, the energy from the sun into electricity directly. And the second type is concentrated solar power. Um, so in a, it's, it's called CPS and CSP. And in a CSP um, power plant, there's a field of mirrors that actually reflect the rays of the sun into a tall, thin tower that has a liquid inside that is boiled and then the steam is used to turn turbines and create electricity. Then you also have wind power which like its name, the wind is used to create electricity. There is hydropower, which uses the flow of water, um, the energy from the flow of water to drive turbines to create electricity. And you also have biomass, which is natural um, plant and animal materials that are used as fuel to create electricity. Nose, what did you study? Okay, so I studied electrical engineering at the University of Cape Town. I did a Bachelor of Science. So if you want to study um, electrical, if you decide that you want to study electrical engineering, there are a few options for you. They, you can either do a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of Engineering, which will make you an engineer. You can also choose to go to a technical um, a technical university and do a diploma in electrical engineering and that will make you a technician. Nozi, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story. You. It's been awesome having Bye. you. And to all of you at home, if you'd like to discuss anything else, let us know on the socials. In today's brain teaser, we ask that you look very closely and find the mistake that the pictures had in common. Do you think you managed to solve the optical illusion? Let's see if you got it right! Did you manage to figure it out? Well, let's turn the picture upside down. It looks terrible, right? The eyes and mouths of both women are upside down, but your brain doesn't recognize that immediately. It's called the Thatcher effect or Thatcher illusion. It is a phenomenon where it becomes more difficult to detect local feature changes in an upside down face, despite identical changes being obvious in an upright face. I hope you managed to get it right. tech show where you know you're part of the coolest squad. We're still looking at how technology can impact and change the world. Now, did you ever imagine that you could sell sunlight? It's kind of what Sun Exchange is doing. It sells solar cells to online buyers around the world and leases them to schools and businesses in South Africa. The buyers then receive monthly payments based on how much electricity is used and the schools get immediate low-cost clean energy without having to pay anything for solar panel installation. It's a win-win! Right now though, I think it's time we head over to the Tech Lab. What's good, Techno Squad? Today we're at the Stream Lab where we're always learning something fun, new, and interactive. True that, Robin. And we only have one question for you, Techno Squad. Are you ready to blast off? Because in today's Tech Lab, we're learning all about rocket principles, and Robin is here to tell us all about it. So, by definition, a rocket is a chamber enclosing a gas under high pressure with an opening at the end which allows the gas to then escape, which creates something called thrust, which is that forward movement that allows a rocket to propel through the air. Wow, that's pretty cool. So what do we need for today's Tech Lab? Just two balloons, and actually. We've got two balloons. <laughs> right, so if you remember from earlier that a rocket is a chamber with gas under a lot of pressure. But if you grab a balloon, you could actually think that it's actually the same thing. So let's blow this up. Okay. <laughs> Right, so now we have our gas chamber under pressure. All right, and if you hold it like this, what do you think is going to happen if you let it go at this end? It'll propel. 
Right, but remember that the force or the gas that's escaping is going in that direction. Ah. But remember Newton's law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the gas will exit out this way, but the balloon will propel that way. Whoa, <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> but we can actually make a rocket of our own. Let's try that. Yes. So this is what we'll be making, a little rocket and then our propulsion, which is a straw. And then we will just blow it and it will propel forward. So Pretty for that, cool. we will be needing some pencils, some scissors, tape, and paper, of course. <laughs> then the next thing we're going to need is a ruler. Mm -hmm. So we're going to draw a rectangle which is 10 centimeters by four centimeters. 10 by four? Yes. Great. So Whoops. now, <laughs> yeah. So let's try and do something like that. Ah, something like that? Just like that, awesome. So then the next thing we're going to do is double it down. Okay. So now that we have that, we can start with our body. So what we're going to do is, we're going to grab one of the rectangles and a pencil, and then we're going to simply roll the rectangle around the pencil. So it makes a sort of tube shape. The next thing we can do is do the nose cone. So the nose cone is super important because if it's not shaped just right, you will have something called too much drag and then you will need to increase your feel. So nobody wants that. Mm -hmm. So with this, we'll simply grab your pencil and then we're going to rotate it around the nib of the pencil like this. So now it's sort of a little pointy. Okay. And then we're gonna grab some tape just to make sure that it doesn't move out of that shape. Like so. So now we've got our entire rocket. Now the next thing we have to do is test it, of course. Of course. So what you're going to be doing is you just slip it into the entrance over there mm -hmm. and then pop your ankle, blow on the one end and then there you go. Oh, there you have it. There it goes. Yes, you <laughs> just made your very own rocket. So you can go and tell your friends that you are now an aerospace engineer. There you have it. She couldn't have said it any better, Techno Squad, and you can try it at home too. And ask one of your friends to help you as well. If you want to see how we made our rocket propel, then go check out our socials at Techno Squad S3. See you next time. So, let's recap. There are all sorts of different ways that technology is having a positive effect. And some people even design technology specifically with the idea of using it to improve the world. Whether you're using solar energy, being an ambassador, or designing the next big social network, we hope your tech will make a positive impact on our world. Guys, we've come to the end of this week's show. Next week, we'll be back to our full squad. Remember, the fun continues online on Instagram, WhatsApp and YouTube, so show us some love. Thank you for tuning in everyone and we'll see you again same time, same place next week. Bye!